for the week of Prayer for Christian Unity that runs each year from the 18th through the 25th of January, Christians around the world are encouraged to pray for peace and brotherhood amongst all churches. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Stonehauser spoke to Cardinal Kurt Koch, the Prefect of the Dicastery for the Promotion of Christian Unity, about the efforts he and his dicastery are making to bring about this harmony. We're here in the Dicastery for the Promotion of Christian Unity and with me is His Eminence, Cardinal Kurt Koch, who has been leading the initiatives of the Vatican to promote Christian unity amongst all Christian churches. Your Eminence, we're at war in Europe right now. How is this affecting Christian unity? I think we have, with this war in the Ukraine, a very difficult situation because um, Christians kills Christians and above all Orthodox kill Orthodox. And this is a very bad and sad message uh, for the world because Christians have the duty and the responsibility to be um, engaged uh, for the peace, then the religion cannot be part of the problem of war, but must be part of reconciliation and peace. If we look to Africa very soon, the Holy Father will travel to, to Congo and to South Sudan. Could you tell us a little bit there also about the conflict uh, going on there? Um, we, we understand there are also um, Christians in South Sudan, for example, has been a long civil war, um, Christians fighting against Christians. Yes, this is a very difficult situation. We have uh, many uh, civil wars in, in this region, in Congo, also in South Sudan. But we have a common work for reconciliation between the Catholic Church and the Anglican World Communion and the Presbyterian Church in, in England. And in this sense, this vis apostolic visit of the Holy Father in South Sudan will be a common pilgrimage between the Archbishop of Canterbury, Welby, and the President of the Presbyterian Church in England and, and the Pope. Because all these churches are engaged to refine reconciliation in this country what would you say, um, what is the status right now of the unity of Christian churches also, uh, maybe with regard also to the Orthodox churches and, and the Catholic Church? Have the relations improved? Has it become more difficult? They have become more difficult because we have many tensions and divisions in the Orthodox world. And we, in the dialogue with the, between the Catholic Church and the Orthodox Church, we want to refine unity. And now we have many, many tensions and divisions in the Orthodox world, and this is a difficulty. For instance, we have an international mixed commission between the Catholic Church and all the Orthodox churches, but the Russian Orthodox Church doesn't participate in this dialogue after the declaration of the autocephaly in, of the Orthodox Church in the Ukraine two years before uh, the war. And when the Russian Orthodox Church doesn't participate in this dialogue, this is a challenge. Is there any chance of uh, the Holy Father meeting the, the Russian Orthodox Patriarch anytime soon? It was planned in the June uh, to have this visit in Jerusalem, but it was very difficult because when there are very, very different visions about the war, we must uh, keep the door for have dialogue, but I cannot say something if we have a further uh, meeting between the two heads of the churches. So the situation has also not become easier uh, no, over the no, past in, months. In every case. No. Your Eminence, thank you very much also for your time and for sharing with us also these informations and thoughts. Thank you and I hope that all to speak, uh, want to pray for the unity, uh, an engagement for every people.